Join the man of God, Prophet Walter N.N. at the Synagogue Church of All Nations live Sunday service and receive this powerful message from God through Senior Prophet T.B. Joshua titled, How to be Filled with the Holy Spirit. Stay tuned and let this message bless you richly. The man of God, Prophet Walter N.N., tarries in Lagos, Nigeria, to replace his car engine, looking at the upcoming event which he is supposed to accompany his mentor for national tour. The man of God, Prophet Walter N.N., makes his way to the Ladibo International Spare Part Market in Lagos, Nigeria. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. So viewers, we are here at the Lagos International Market for spare parts, right in Lagos. And here you get every kind of engine that you want, everything here you get it cheaper, five times cheaper than Kamaru. To the glory of God, the man of God, Prophet Walter N.N. finally gets a good engine for the car. And now, it's time for work. You have opened my eyes. You have opened my eyes. Holy Spirit. You can see the man of God, Prophet Walter N.N., walking tirelessly with the mechanics. You can see us live in the scrapyard of Lagos, Ladibo International Market, Lagos, Nigeria. So you can see all over here is the scrapyard, is the entire scrapyard, where people are coming from all over the African community to come and buy their parts, fit in their car. Every part you need in your car, you get it here. Four times cheaper like in your own country. All the hills and valleys that the car have been climbing out there in Cameroon, the engine ought to be changed for a stronger engine. We have got one, we have gotten one here and it's going to be mounted for this car to continue doing the work of God. So stay tuned as we do this work and test this car. Reporting from Lagos, Nigeria, this is Prophet Walter NN signing out for a short while. Bye bye. Holy Spirit. Mm. I've just finished day one. The work is hard with the fatigue of the driving. It's not easy. But this is how you know real people. Fake people have enough money to spend. So they don't do what they call follow up. People like us, our money comes divinely. We don't collect seats to preach to people. We don't collect no money. So everything that we have is given to us divinely by God and we manage it very carefully. Besides, it's not just the money that is causing me to come here. If we don't come here to supervise and follow up, the guys will do work after they finish, they spoil another one. So I prefer to be there, follow up. Something is wrong, I should make sure I fix it. So people like us who get money through the divine means, we don't spend that money anyhow. And those who steal seats, so seed millions and so on. Mm, you don't need to repair that car. They don't need to get a new one. So the gospel of Christ is not just to sit and think that heaven will come down and do things for you. You need to work for heaven to help you succeed in your work. So it has been a wonderful time here in Nigeria. You see, many people have closed and they're going back here in the international market. Which we have closed for today. We're going to take some rest in the hotel and come back here very early to continue with the work. The car has been working a lot, climbing hills, descending valleys, going to terrible kind of places to deliver the source of God, carrying us to go and deliver the source of God by the grace of God. We don't ask, they don't also give. You no, know, you don't need to change your way of preaching. You man of God, look at me right now. When you come to this kind of situation, God will make a way. 
keep on doing the good work the way you are doing. And when you come in the point of need, God will make a way. Don't think that God will only bless you through whom you pray for. So you must be focused in God. Like the powerful message I heard from the senior man of God, senior prophet, which I shared yesterday. Be ready to confess Christ when you are fine, when there's no trouble. And be ready to confess Christ when there's trouble. Reporting, I am Prophet Walter N.N. God bless you. Ciao. See you tomorrow. The man of God, Prophet Walter N.N., for the sake of the viewers, equally explores the city of Lagos, Nigeria, making sure he nourishes viewers with interesting programs. For the gospel doesn't only end inside the church, but reflects itself in our day-to-day -day lives. Viewers all over the world, here we are in Lagos, Nigeria. Once more, exploring the city of Lagos and bringing to you updates from Lagos, Nigeria. This is to make you know that Kipamenda is not only out to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ to you, but it's out to make you discover the other way people live, discover the other way of life in different places, how people live. This is yet another opportunity as we have come for prayers in the Synagogue Church of All Nations and we have decided to take out this time to make you discover Lagos. So this is how you are discovering life in another corner of the planet, in Africa, in the continent of Africa, and here in Lagos, Nigeria. I am Prophet Walter N.N. signing out. Stay blessed and keep watching Bermuda. As we take you to the inferior and the superior cities of the world to know the way various people live, how they do, and how we can help them to know God. God bless you. And to my surprise, you're more real than the A few days in Lagos, Nigeria, the man of God, Prophet Walter N.N. experiences life like a common Nigerian citizen, eating what they eat, enters the downfall driver bus, and goes to the common places like in this garage where he repairs his car. The man of God, Prophet Walter N.N. now completes the work on the car and kicks off for Cameroon from Lagos, Nigeria. We are finally departing from Lagos after a wonderful moment that we have had here in Lagos. Today, the day of departure, just went to the garage, get the car, clean it and start hitting the road for Cameroon. I believe you have enjoyed so many things that we have made you to discover here in Lagos. You have enjoyed the way, you have seen and learned the way the people live. The people are not like what I know in the past. Just like they will see you and just capitalize you and so on. That's what I was meant to understand. But the people are just a kind of people that are unique, so busy. It's a busy town. Just the population of this city is more than the population of the entire Cameroon. So God bless you as we run our activities here in Lagos. Bye bye. The man of God, Prophet Walter N.N., now completes the work on the car and kicks off for Cameroon from Lagos, Nigeria. As we continue on this journey back to Cameroon, as our defender, our protector, we put our hopes, our trust in you, we depend in you. All the forces of darkness standing against this journey, we crush them all down by fire. We release fire against them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. After a few hours drive, my God, what's happening again? By the grace of God, the man of God, Prophet Walter N.N., rapidly dictates fire in the engine compartment and abruptly halts the car. It is very clear that the devil, seeing what the man of God, Prophet Walter N.N., has received while in the synagogue church of all nations, he is ready to put the man of God in a state of discouragement and frustration. But glory be to God, the man of God is well equipped with a good firefighting equipment as he pulls it and puts off the fire instantly. Say Holy Spirit. You see, I realize with you I need nobody Cause you talk to me and you guide in me That's my surprise, you're more real than the air I breathe Precious Holy God 
The journey continues as the man of God, Prophet Walter N.N., overcomes all the attacks on the way and finally makes his way back on the soil of Cameroon. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. Welcomed by this giant rainbow over the sky, the man of God, Prophet Walter N.N., glorifies the name of the Lord for his divine presence. You can see the rainbow as, as a sign of divine presence with us, God's covenant with us in this journey. It comes out and it's not everybody who sees it. There are many people who have not seen it. God has shown it to us because He is proving to us that He is with us, that covenant man, and we are untouchable. And that this journey to Lagos is under His leadership and it's a successful journey. It's been a tough journey, it's been a long one. God has been our helper, He has seen us through. He has proven to us that with Him all things are possible. It's not chocolate, but it's good to be with the Holy Ghost. Bye. You see, I'm